Hello. Long time no see. <laughs> so, here I am. Skinny as hell. It's 31st of December 2017. It's the last day of this God forsaken year. I am so looking forward to 2018. Who is this girl with collarbones, right? Yes, it's me. <laughs> I don't know why I'm making the piss sign, but I'm excited. Okay, so quick update because I'm doing meal prep. I don't care, New Year's Eve, Shmoo Year's Eve, who cares? We do what you have to do. It's the last day of the year and, the, and just before the first day of the next year. So you wanna be ready, right? I do. So, um, where do we even begin? This year, from around this time last year, I lost about 80 pounds. I wish it were more, I wish it were 80 kilograms, but it's, is it even 80 pounds? Hold on. I lost 70 pounds, so that's about 30 kilograms. However, my goal for this year was, I had a few weight loss goals, obviously, right? Because 365 days, you're not gonna have just one goal. One of my goals was to weigh under 200 pounds because when I started this whole weight loss journey, I weighed just before, just under 300 pounds. And that's what was a wake up call for me. I was like, oh my gosh, I'm not gonna be that person who weighs 300 pounds. And with all due respect to people who weigh 300 pounds, 500 pounds, 600 pounds, that was a wake up call for me. And uh, so my goal for this year was to weigh under 200 pounds and I reached it, you know, they call it Wonderland as in Wonderland. And it's also a wonderful land. I reached that goal. I can't recall when I reached it, but I'm gonna, I have a video of it. So I have already posted it and I'm gonna link to that video here in the bottom. Now, my other goal for December, this was a tough one for me, was to have weight, to have lost a hundred pounds from the time I started this whole journey, from the beginning, when I started drinking a pound, sorry, a, what's that smell? When I started um, being distracted with the smell, drinking a gallon of water per day, when I was taking it easy, just working my way into the whole thing. Do you like my new dress? I'm wearing pink Uggs with it. I'll show you the, the whole thing just now. It's very black and white, oh my gosh. At least it matches my eyes, my earrings that my sister brought for me from Africa. I'm gonna do my nails later, so don't mind me. I'm just running last year's errands before next year. I'm excited. Mm. Around the 15th of December, you know, I usually do my real weighing and recording halfway through the month and the last day of the month to see what we're doing, even though I still do weigh every day. It is what, I, what it is. I try, when I'm serious about not weighing every day, first thing I do when I wake up, I drink water. That way, if I do weigh, it's not, I can't because I'm just like, oh my God, I already drank water, blah, blah, blah. Right, so, um, by mid-December, I was like, oh gosh, I had stopped. Um, I reached some kind of a plateau this year. And it was like, my gosh, for months, I just like would not lose. And then I would lose maybe three pounds if I'm lucky. It was hard, like I would lose two pounds, gain four, lose 0.5, gain two. So, whoop, whoop, whoop. I was like, what's happening here? And then I was pretty much just maintaining for the most part. And it was, it was depressing. And um, my calories were not what they should have been, to be honest. My calories were kind of high. The more I worked out, the hungrier I got. The less I worked out, the better I, fe um, the better I ate. But the problem is I'm not working out and I'm trying to work, working out into my system. As I've said before in my previous video. So, um, I started walking. 
I'm walking two miles for starters. I have this thing of like being all itchy and I may have mentioned it before. When I walk, I don't know why it happens when it does, but I think now at my age, and this has been happening all my life, I think that it happens when I haven't been active or exercising for a while. A while, maybe a week or two, but I think that's what it is. So, um, I walked like two miles, the direction that I usually walk. It's like this, and then it goes down a little bit, and then it goes up and up kind of level and more up. So I would do one mile, one mile back, not too much. Going to the post office takes me half a mile and I have my eBay store. So when I do eBay and uh, it's time to ship, I would usually walk the half a mile walk back just to add some activity into my, my lifestyle. And, um, but sometimes I'm too busy to walk there when I can just put something here in the mailbox and have the mailman pick it up when they drop off my stuff, right? Anyway, so I decided let's walk, walk a mile. I walked a mile a couple of times, maybe three maximum. And then I was like, okay, I'm, I think I'm fit enough to walk further because you must understand it had already been almost a year that I've been doing Zumba and I've been doing yoga. So it's not like I came out of freaking nowhere and all of a sudden I'm trying to walk miles. By the way, a mile is 1.6 kilograms. Miles, of course, is 3.2 kilograms. So I was like, why don't we just do three miles? <coughs> Excuse me. One sec. Actually, I would do 1.6 miles because that's where the next light would be. And then I'll just make a U-turn and come back. And then I was like, nah, I'm not doing this every day. I'm doing it maybe every other day or something like that. And then I did four miles, two, two, two and two. Back in the day, I used to run five miles, walk and run. Then I was like, okay, long story short, the maximum that I have walked so far, drum roll, please. 10 kilometers, six miles. How proud am I of myself? Girl! Super duper proud. Like that is the most, I, the furthest I've ever walked, period. Period. I wanna do more this coming year. I'm gonna definitely walk um, more just because you don't wanna be doing the same thing. I don't walk 10 miles every day. I don't walk every day, period. But when I, when I walk, like, I'll walk today and then skip tomorrow. And then tomorrow I have so much more energy, energy day after. So I'll walk today, skip a day. And then after that, I'm just like, ah, oh, it's something that I feel in my thighs, like in the front of my thighs that says, let's see. Something that I feel in the front of my thighs that says, you got this, bro. Keep going, keep going, keep going. And I'll keep going, right? Something that I feel in my thighs, that, in the front of the, my thighs, like in my muscles, that says, you got this. Keep going. So what do I do? Keep going. Ah! <laughs> I'm just too excited about so many things right now. So now I decided I was going to cheat a little when it came close to um my 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 goal time around mid december until the end of december i was like oh my gosh i have two months two weeks left i haven't my weight hasn't budged what are we, what are we gonna do so i was like let's take a break from exercising because i would like go and do yoga maybe once a week do zumba maybe once a week and i'm still walking over here so i was like Let's rest my muscles because just rest them. And I did, and then the weight started falling off. I am not encouraging people to not work out in order for them to trick the scale. However, that's what I did. I haven't stopped working out, but it fell off. It would be like one pound down, two pounds down tomorrow, one more pound down day after tomorrow, one and I was just like, every time I get on the scale, chill, the thing is down. Woo! Lower, lower. Lower, 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 lower. And 
and until I lost about 101 point something pounds. What? I reached and not only reached my goal, I exceeded it. Yup. This girl did. Yeah, she did. So I exceeded my goal. It wasn't even the end of the month of the year yet. And then I put on my workout clothes and I went for a walk and I was itching as hell because it had been more than a week that I stopped working out. So I just kept going, stopping for a second, do some yoga poses and then keep going, yoga, going, yoga, because I wanted to at least do um, three miles and I did, I did 3.2 miles. Then I took a break the following day. Actually, I didn't. This was Christmas day. Christmas day, I went, Christmas Eve, I went for a walk 3.2 miles, which is five, five, a little more than five kilometers. And then this was Christmas Eve. And then on Christmas Day, I freaking walked 10 kilometers, six miles on Christmas Day. Please, life is for the living. I'm going to sit here and be all reindeery. I got to do stuff. I've got way to lose. I've got a body to shape up. So the summer coming up. I need to be in a bikini. I need to be sexy. Give me a break, child. So I was so proud of myself that I did that. And then I took, um, and then I would just like work out, walk just a little, do a little yoga here and there. And, but I'm here to report to you that I have reached all the weight loss goals that I have set for myself, at least for the most part this year. Next year, I cannot tell you what my goals are. I know what they are. I have them written down, but I'm not, I'm not big on telling people something until I've reached it and then I'll tell you what it was. So, but just trust me when I tell you that that's what the goal was, that that's what the goal was. I have no reason to lie to anyone. Um, inch wise, around my waist, I can't, I just looked at it now. I I'm not going to tell you the precise numbers because whatever you, you can see the difference for yourself but I am down around my waist and my and my boob age because it's around the same Twelve. 14 to 15 inches 14 to 15 inches around my waist are you kidding me no I'm not kidding you that's true I lost a lot of weight around my arms but because they're jiggly 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 it's kind of hard. You just want to fold them up and then, you know, do what you have to and measure them. But that's not how it works. I no longer fit into any of the clothes that I had before for obvious reasons. I sold some of them on eBay and I can't find my pants. Um, if you follow me on social media, you will see a lot of my befores and afters. This was a few weeks ago. Right here, obviously, with the um, black it was a few weeks ago. It's one of my favorites, actually, believe it or not. I bought this dress recently, and it's my first time wearing it, and it's already kind of gum, 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 gum. I don't know if it helps that I'm wearing black and white, but this is the fun. Yeah, I don't think this helps, but that's me. What are my goals for 2017, 2018? I have a lot of things that I'd like to achieve in 2018. And of course I won't tell you until I've achieved them. For now, I would like to thank you for being there with me through this journey, for watching my progress, for giving me motivation to have something to report back whether you do comment on my videos, if you don't, please do. It really means a lot and it goes a long way for being my accountability partner, for being my audience, my platform, my, that person that I show off to who gets it, who's like, oh, I want to see how much more has she lost now? How far has she come? What struggles is she encountering? I just... For being i guess a friend on the internet when we know not a lot of people are friendly out there like comment subscribe it means something to me thank you so much Woo!